Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Inside. Today is going to be the final episode, episode 3, we're going to reach the end in. Um, you might be able to tell, this doesn't look like where we left off. Um, this is a whole story to this, this is an explanation, I'll get to it. But first of all, we are just going to load up uh, the last point that we were at. I'll explain, I'll explain what happened, um, but just in case you don't care, we're going to get straight into it. Uh, we did that, we did that, we did that, we did that. Uh, yeah, we did that. Okay, this is where we were at. So, let's play this. Alright, yeah, so this is where we were at. Um, so, I've already recorded this. I have already recorded episode 3 of Inside. I recorded the whole hour-long Let's Play. Um, I had my voice. I, I was commentating over it. But, how do I say this? without crying. Uh, my face cam audio and video just got corrupted. The file corrupted. So my face cam was lost. My voiceover was lost. My original commentary. So I was pretty uh, pretty upset over that. But you know what? I thought I'm not going to let this get to us. So after realising it was corrupted I thought right I've still got my game my gameplay video and audio so all hope is not lost. I can still salvage it. So then what I did, after trying to edit it for about an hour, I um, I recorded my own voiceover to it. I recorded an hour long voiceover while watching the playback through Resolve, my editing program. And if you don't care about this, just watch. Uh, this is me rambling on. I've already done all of this. I know what happens. I know it's disappointing. You're never going to be able to see my original authentic reaction and what I've thought about everything. Because I talked a lot about the themes and the ending and what I thought. But to be fair, I could have explained what my thoughts are a lot better. So I'm kind of glad that I'm getting the second chance, but not really because I'm having to do this whole part again. But then again, this isn't that long of a game, so I'm not really too mad. And also, it is a good game. So again, I'm not mad about having to play it again. I'm just, you know, a bit disappointed that my recording software failed like that. And once I'd recorded my voiceover, I thought, right, okay, I've got my voiceover, I've got the original gameplay, I should be fine now, I should be fine, there's no problems. But know what happens? Half of my gameplay corrupts. You know, life is just... <sighs> life is just unfair. So, my, after my face cam and audio completely corrupted, half of my gameplay corrupted, so I couldn't use it, like, half of my um, original gameplay footage, which was really... Uh, Really upsetting. Oh man, almost got there, almost got there. Uh, right, okay, let's go round two. Round two, trying to escape evil water bitch, because she is indeed very evil. Um, so yeah, I think I've explained everything. Yeah, so I've explained how I've already recorded this hour long video. And then how I had to painstakingly record an hour long commentary to it, where I held my microphone to my mouth for an hour straight. Um, yeah. Oh, hello there. Hoping up through the crap door. Nah, not happening today. Yeah, my arm got cramped for like 10 minutes straight after that <laughs> because I just had the microphone held for so long. Alright, come on. Come on, evil water bitch. There you are. Come on, even further. There we go. Haha, <laughs> almost got us there, damn, 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 I need to uh, not slip up, alright, and now we escape to freedom, I come from a land down under, there we go, oh no, don't tell us I'm stuck, oh my god, oh, the timing of this needs to be so immaculate and precise, <sighs> Let's go again. I'm sorry you haven't watched us fail so much. I've literally done this as well. I know what to do. Why am I being so bad? Why am I being so bad at this? Do, 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 do. I'm going to try not to edit it down um, as much as I can. I, I, I'm going to try to not edit it down as much as I can. There we go. English. We, come on, you're taking your time, lassie. Right, that should be fine, yeah. Come 
Come on, I swear to God, if you get trapped again. If you get trapped again. There we go. A trapped again? Are you kidding me? No, come on, what is this? What is, what, what is this? I am tiny. I'm a little boy. I should be able to do this. Oh, I'm really sorry this is frustrating. Like, I'm not making any progress on this, but come on. Press the button. Get back, get back, get back, get back. That was very close. Jeez. Okay. That was extremely close. Damn. Alright, now come on. I swear to God, if you get trapped in there again, if you get stuck, if you get stuck. Right, you've got to be joking now. You have actually got to be kidding me. You've actually got to be kidding me. This is actually, like, what are the chances? What What are the chances? There's no way. There's actually no way. Bro, I'm, I'm about to rage quit. I've spent an hour and a bit recording. I've spent an hour and a bit trying to edit it. Then I spent an hour and a bit having to do a, a voiceover to it. And now, uh, oh my god. If this game couldn't make us any madder. If this game couldn't make us any madder. The evil mermaid has got us. I can't, I just, I just can't, I can't. Seven minutes in, and I made almost no progress. I actually hate my life. I actually do. I thought this was just, just going to be right. I've done all this before. I know what to do. Just get in, get out. Easy peasy, squeezy. Make man just like Houdini. Very sorry for that. If I don't get it this time, I actually I'm just going to like skip this bit and load the next part. I, I literally like don't care. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. Right, come on, come on. Come on. Haha. -ha. Okay. Right, I'm going to press the button as late as possible now. Finally. Oh my days. That was embarrassing. That was actually embarrassing. Jesus Christ. Now we're going to swim underneath through here and come back up before I drown. Got a little chain here. Thank the Lord, I'm out of the water. I can remember some of my original commentary, so if I made a specific joke here and there, uh, I'll remember it and I'll repeat it. But uh, looks like we're dead. We are dying. We're drowning. Oh, yeah, evil water bitch. I told you she's evil. Look at this. I'm dead. I am dead. I, I am deceased. Q coffin dance meme. I am deceased. Do, 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 do. Look. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm like I can't. I can't press any buttons or anything. So I'm just gonna watch. But I mean, no, you can watch with us. You can watch with us. This bit's bare long, by the way, bare long. Yeah, one thing I don't miss about my original commentary is all the cringy London slang. But you know what? That's not gonna stop me from doing it again this time. Round two, I'm gonna do it again. Well, round three, if you count the voiceover. All right, I'm gonna stop chatting now. Just chatting nonsense. I think I made a joke about an umbilical cord here. But, um, I'm being plugged up to this glowy thing. I don't know why I said that. I'm just stating the obvious here. I, I need to stop. I need someone to stop us from talking. I'm just rambling. I just ramble. That's what I do. I'm, I am going to shut up now. Yo, fish gang. Unplugged from life support gang. Dead gang, not really a fan of the last one, but guess I got no choice. I'm just, I'm just sinking now. I'm sinking, surrounded by fish. Still can't move. Still can't move. One thing I've realised is that in all, in both part one and two, and the original part three, and the voiceover for part three, those four separate game recordings, I didn't say the words mind control once. 
I don't think I did. And considering it's literally the main theme of the, like, it's shoved in your face throughout the entire game, that one main theme, I'm pretty surprised at myself for not mentioning it. Maybe I thought it was too obvious, but surely I should have thought it was something worth saying, worth mentioning, the whole theme of mind control and the oppression of free will through higher elitist powers controlling, you know, lower class, uh, impressionable, you know, impressionable lower class people. Alright, now I'm able to breathe underwater because evil water bitch may not be so evil. She's just given us the ability to breathe underwater. Yeah, and before I found this place right here, I spent about five minutes finding about trying to like explore the entire place. There's nothing there. This is the only place I can progress on to. So you can see this is all dilapidated infrastructure construction. This entire facility is huge if you hadn't if you hadn't gauged by the scope of this. You see there's a testing chamber behind us, right? And there's someone there. Look, there's someone inside it. So this abandoned this huge abandoned facility there was someone there left behind, which is terrifying to think of. Imagine you're just a test subject. You're right, you've got all these thoughts and feelings, you're a natural person. And the scientists and the military guys just abandon you, just abandon this entire facility, this entire work. We've got fog horns going on. I really hope the audio levels are balanced. They look balanced, so I'm going to assume that they're balanced. Alright, now we're in a huge vat of water trying to figure out what to do. By the way, um, there are secret, there's 14 different, like, unlockable collectible like things that you can get which lead on to a secret ending in my original playthrough i only got like four of them so i'm not going to try and get them i know where they are well i know where four of them are but i'm not going to try to get them oh i'm going to get squashed i'm going to get squashed i'm not even going to try okay next time next time i'm going to get this so i'm being sucked backwards by some sort of current come on i've got this i've got this come on Push through, power, power, I've got this, come on, come on, come on, ooh, there we go, alright, and now I'm just going to grab onto this for next time, yeah, there we go, come on, you got this, you can hold on, you can hold on, you can hold on, there's someone's dismembered body just flying through, giving us so much hope, yo, did I just squeeze through the, those rungs there, through the gravity thing, alright, now grab onto this, and I'm, I'm going to refer to my original, oh no, someone, he dead, he real dead. I'm going to refer to my original playthrough a lot here, but um, at this point I went onwards through the second fan for some reason. I didn't realise the hatch was above us, so um, I'm glad this time I've got the actual mental capacity to realise that there's a hatch. I think I'm surrounded by rats here. Yo, making a reunion with 6 9 What's good? What's good? Oh, that fish do be doing the flop. When's that from? Is that like 20, 2013 or something? Oh yeah, I forgot, right. There's this light that kills us. Yo, well, it may, maybe it kills us. It probably does. I, I, I never got caught by it, so I never had to find out. Sorry to flex on you all with my first time elite gameplay oh oh okay i missed the shadow there i missed the shadow gonna have to go all the way back okay yeah, man right piss off light piss off so one thing i never really touched on even though i didn't notice was the ah oh, no, ah 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 well i guess i know what happens when you go into the light now oopsie daisy oopsie daisy just missed the shadow i was conflicting do i go for the shadow do i not go for the shadow I'll go for it. Oh, yes, there we go. Oh no, I'm stuck now. I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm dead. I am dead. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah, oh, okay. Um, one thing. What was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, the fact that those chicks, those stuckins, followed us at the beginning, is um synonymous to how the mind controlled guys follow us. Which I think is a pretty interesting um, comparison to make. How I may be more than just some mere boy. There it 
is. And now I've got to go all the way back here to escape the light. So I've got so many interesting themes and topics about this game that I want to talk about, but obviously I can't because well, I've not. Uh, all the way back. Okay, I've kind of messed this up. I'm gonna have to. Ah, I was too slow. Okay, I'm sorry I'm taking so long on this part. I'm really, really sorry. Ooh, oh, I was looking at my recording. Why did I do that? I got distracted by my recording. Ah, oh, okay. I did this so quickly in the in the original recording as well. I don't know why I'm doing stuff like so wrong this time round. It's weird. Uh-uh. See, look at this. Why am I messing up? Why am I messing up? Like, I'd, I got... I literally did this first try. I didn't die a single time. I mean, I Oh, I'm really sorry if I keep mentioning me original, um, me original playthrough. Why? Why? So I've got to wait for the light to go that way. No, I'm not going to go for the shadow. I was about to, but I thought, nah, the light's going to get us. The light's going to get us. Ooh, I'm faster than the light, so I've got to, like, pace myself. Ooh, there we go, that's how we do it. Alright, finally, that took that took us a while. Sincerest apologies. Beautiful stuff. I'm 20 minutes in. How am I? How am I being so trash? All right, and Geronimo, yo, welcome back, fishies. How we all doing, fish gun? Now this place. Look at this place. These scientist dudes have built a full-on underground, underground, not, not underground, upside down ocean thing. It's mental, absolutely mental. See, I, again, I did this first time in the original. I'm just not on it today. I am really just not on it. There we go. Yeah, sorry if I don't explain what I'm doing. It's just like... I've already done this, I've already commentated twice, so I'm a bit sick of my life, but you know. Honestly, the amount of times I've I've just thought about giving up on this episode and just leaving it at two on my channel. Why did I do that? But then every like every time I had that thought I thought, no, I've gotta get the third episode up. And the fact and the idea of re recording was it in my mind? at times but never really became reality till now
Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, if I don't do this first time, like I did first time, then I'm gonna be hella mad. No, oh, I'm an idiot. Like literally, how can how can I how can I mess that up? Um, oh, oh my god. Ah, oh, okay, all right, okay. I don't know why this is so late. I'm actually like, in... oh my days, brother. Oh my days. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. This is pathetic. The, oh, now, all right. Honestly, I wish so much that I hadn't lost me original me original gameplay because my original gameplay was sick I did so many things spot on I was flying through it is, is there some type of psychological effect where if you do something the second time round you're worse at it no I think that's just called being in, being useless right anyways I'm going to stop trying to psychologically justify my actions and uh, I'm just going to play the game. Yeah, if there's something that I don't explore or like check out, it's because I already know there's nothing there or it's useless. Like that, that th thing that looked like a rope back there, the reason I didn't jump up to grab it is because I knew that it's... Um, I think I can't jump up and grab it. Oh wait, I've got to go back here. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to take a peek at the the mandem. Look at the squad over here. Gang gang. Oh look, hashtag free the mandem. Yo, I'll get you out soon, brothers. I'll get you out soon. Don't worry. Once we're out, we're gonna mash up the deck. We're mashing up the scene. You get me? Okay, um, actually I'm just gonna show up. Ooh. You don't see me. You don't see me. Man's got his kid with him. He's bringing his kid to be like, hey yo, look at this sick mind control stuff we're doing. No, not the man dem. Don't take the man dem. No, free the man them. All right, don't worry, brothers. I'll get you out. I'll get you out, bro. You, we, we're gonna shank up that forklift driver. I swear to God. All right. Um, so first time I did this, I may have just uh not stopped and hid. I may have just like kept running, I like, just kept dragging the box because I was an idiot. I literally saw them come. I literally saw the door open, I saw them come through and then I, I just kept, I kept going, I don't know why, I just, I just, I just didn't stop, I was like, hey yo, you're probably going to kill us, but I, uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just keep going, but this time, me and my huge brain looked at the bad guys and thought, maybe they're going to kill us. What's really interesting is, in the opening forest scene, the don't kill us, the guys don't kill us, the shooters are like tranquilizer dots and capture us, which is super, super interesting. Oh, I've got to lift it up, not down. Which means that I have some sort of purpose other than... I should be fine. Other than just, you know, making my way through this facility, trying to find out what's going on. Like, they have a reason for wanting me alive. I have some sort of bigger purpose. There we go. Uh, at this point, I thought, oh no, there's water again, let me try to get out. And I realised I couldn't get out. So that was fun. Oh yeah, it's down here, it's down here. Oh yeah. 
dumb. Look at these scientist guys with the nippers. They're like, hey, yo, let's check the, the upside down ocean is working as it should. And, uh, okay, in the original, uh, I kind of messed up and went like too far down and I fell through. But I fell through at the exact time that they didn't notice us. Like, I fell through like two seconds before I fell through in this recording. And, uh, yeah. Right, it's raining, man. Hallelujah. Yo, squad up, squad up. We've got a new squad over here. We had the OG, now we've got the new, the new Donnies. Right, they they look a lot more lively than the previous the previous squad. We are now in testing chamber four. But look, these guys aren't sleeping on the job. I'm loving the work ethic here. Very productive, very productive. Thank you guys, thank you. So what am I meant to be doing here? Uh Oh wait, no, I'm meant to go back. Sorry. Sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Look at the pace of these guys, the stamina is unreal. I'm not hearing any snoring, which is very good. Oh, we just got a dismembered gang member. Yo, he got shanked up by, by the by the other squad, by the other gang. Look at him, just playing around. Man, I feel sorry for him. That's what happens when you get when you get caught up in the wrong ends. Sorry bro, sorry bro. Just gonna have to keep squirming around. My Snapchat do be popping off though. In the original I was complaining about how my Snapchat kept going off. Because it was half five in the morning. So I was like, oh, who on earth could possibly be Snapchatting us at this time? Then I realised it's Americans. Because... They are five hours behind. Well, in Ohio at least. Oh, why am I talking about time zones in Ohio? I'm literally losing my mind. I'm sick of this game. I'm actually sick of it. Even though it's a beautiful game and the audio and uh, visuals are beautiful. I've played this before. This is. I'm only doing this so that I've got a complete series on my channel because they've wrote way too many series on way too many channels that I have not completed and I feel very guilty for just having incomplete series because I can imagine being a viewer right every time or most times that I upload a video I imagine I'm the viewer and like how I would respond or like how I would feel if there was an incomplete series I would be so pissed yo we got the OG squads hat gang build a gang come on come on guys come on let's squad up the OG and the new squad all in the same gang, come on. Come on, look at this. Bigger than before, better than before. A lot of the things I'm saying, I do... Oh, no! Oh, I try to stop myself because I remember that I'd die. And then I, I didn't stop myself. I don't know why. You know, that rhymed. I should be a rapper. Come on. All the way across. Nice. Oh, and just uh, cushion my fall there. Thank you. And just uh, let us up here, lads, please. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Very strong, guys. Very helpful. Uh, in the original, I uh, unintentionally um, was very, very big brain, and I got the uh, collectible thing that was up on the floor above us. But this time, I'm literally not even going to bother. If you want to see someone getting all the collectibles, you can watch, like, you can literally watch on YouTube a playthrough of, like, how I get all the collectibles. How I get the, um, how I get all those. See, because I accidentally cut off like half the people, then I realised, oh, half the people can push us up onto the onto the level above us, and half of them can help us get the thing. But this time, I'm skipping that, because that was unintentional anyways. So, we've got this ethereal heavenly music going on. I like it, I like it. 
Right, squad up, let's go. Let's go. Yo, we've got people running back there. Everyone's getting free. The entire man dem is free. Look at us running. Re bit of help getting up here, lads, please. If you don't mind. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. There are a lot of tests in Chamber 4s. Um, I think over here, uh, I was like, hey, who's been smoking indoors? That's not good. That's not okay. That is very damaging to public health and safety. But we've got an arcade, so it's fine. Yo, who wants to play some Pong? I'm down for some Pong. Maybe some, uh, some Pac-Man? Yes, please. Open up the jail cell doors. Free the mandem who's stuck in the jails. Uh, I'm leaving 6 9 though. He's not coming out. By the way, 6 9 right? He's boasting about, like, being free and whatever. I swear he's under, like, house arrest until August when he's just gonna, like, go back or something, right? Yo, lanky prick behind us. What's good, bro? What's good? We've got some medical examination going on. <laughs> Oh wow, bro! Come on, you got you didn't ever do hurdles in primary school. Oh, you've got to learn how to run without bashing at the chairs. And over here, I was like, "Hey, yo, what we're looking at? What we're looking at?" I think I said the words "what we're looking at" about ten times in the space of two seconds. Can I see? Can I see what's going on? No, I can't. No, I can't. I tried to drag this uh, car over this way to jump on it, but that didn't work. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep going. Yo, what is this magnificent spec? Magnificent? Magnificent spectacle that I'm missing out on. I want to see, but I'm too short. Man. Man, I feel for short people sometimes, but I don't because you're short. Ha 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 ha. But also, all I want to do is see, is see the, the main attraction. Open up this vent right here. Hey, yo, all I want to do is see what you're all looking at. Look at this crowd. Hey, oh no, I think the original I made a joke about scrap going on. Hey, look, I will, I will look at scrap. Who's this then? Who's scrap? Then? Is, is this West Park? You don't see me. You don't hear nothing. You don't see nothing. Sneaky. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. You don't see uh, you don't see nothing. You guys just keep looking at that scrap going on down there. Loving the shadows here with the light coming through the trap door. Geronimo! Oh, how did I miss? I don't how I don't see how it's possible to miss that. I do not see how that's possible. There we go. All right. So as I said, if if there's places where I just get straight to the point and it looks like I haven't fully explored everything, trust us, I spent more than enough time exploring. No. Oh wow. How did I survive that? How on earth did I survive that? I'll end this tube here. Make sure you don't fall off. And Geronimo into the water. And uh, I believe there is a current stopping us from getting the thing at the bottom. So I've, what I've got to do is pull off these red handles on the sides. There we go. Pull off this red handle. Open up the hatch. Now I've got to stop the current. There we go. Get it. Get up here. Pull the handle up. Now I can get down and open up this handle right here. It's very quiet all of a sudden. Damn. There we go. And uh, oh wait, no, no. I was mistaken. Got to get up here, and then I got to pull it down. And before it has the time to turn on completely. Got to get down. Come on. Come on. Pull. Yes. Pull. 
Nice. Three, two, one. Ooh, look at that. And I made a few too many nonce jokes here because I am a naked boy, naked little boy being washed by several men. I'm not very, not very comfortable with this. First Epstein, now Andrew. It's going to be used next, lads. Trust us, trust us. Not that I'm speaking from experience. That sounded like I was... Okay, I'm just going to show up now. Let's pull off these mind control dingies on this blob. Oh, by the way, yeah, there, there's a massive blob being held in the massive tank, by the way. Um, if that wasn't surprising enough. Yo, man, they're starting to move. They're starting to be free. Look at these arms grabbing out. But yeah, if I'm not expressing shock or surprise, trust us, I was shocked and surprised, all right. Look at this blob. Look, I'm being freed from this contraption that's holding us hostage. Um, and then I proceeded to learn that I can grab stuff with these hundreds of arms. Now listen, listen to this. <laughs> And cue the Wilhelm scream. Look at this, we are free. Look at the carnage, the chaos, the anarchy. Look at this, what's going on? I'm a massive blob running rampage through the facility. Yo, you can't control me. You can't control me, that's right, that's right. I'll do what I want to do. I am running havoc. No, oh, you think that's going to stop me? No, nah, mate, you think that's stopping me? You can't keep me behind bars. You can't keep me behind bars. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Yo, mash up the deck. Mash up the arcade. Pong? Nah. Nah. That's what happens when I rage at Pong. Hey. Come on, squad. Yeah, I know. Okay, I know that I've gotten a bit far. I know I've put on some weight over Ramadan. I don't know how. Come on, guys. You don't need to mention it. I know I've made a bit of a glow down. Glow down? Is that what you would call it? I don't know. Right, I'm a bit morbidly obese now. I, don't, I look slightly different, but you know what? I don't care. I love my body because I'm a strong, independent woman and I don't need no man. Ow! Looks like it hurt. And again! Ow! Ow! That looks like it really hurt. Now, notice here, right? I'm not going to spoil anything, but I am inside a model of a hillside with a spotlight shining down look at this I'm breaking free from the diorama from the model yo I grab this I grab the block this. yo I don't care I don't care I'm gonna run wild I do not care let's go let's go And at this point I commented on the on the impressive architecture and feng shui of uh, this building. Because look, this building is actually really nice. This is all corporate modern facility. This is where all the scientists hang out when they're not, you know, murdering and controlling the minds of innocent civilians. But I mean, it's it's cool. This is like uh, behind the scenes of like the cushy lives of the high-end elitist guys who can just chill. Hey, yo! Yo, the cafeteria, yeah? You thought you could have a bit of a, a nibble on some, on the Pengus Munch? Nah, nah. Why, why do I talk like this? Yo, hey, big man thing. are you the CEO? Are you boss man? Yeah, you scared? You scared? Nah, don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. You're actually a sound guy, you're a pretty sound guy, you know. You know, back when, um, back at that Christmas party, you know, you were pretty cool. I like your jokes. Psych! You dead! You dead! Ooh! Very gruesome death. Very gruesome. Now I am covered in his blood. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm a do a GME because man just don't care. Man don't care. Where's the gigs feature? I got a black ski mask, but I don't ski, but a snowboard dashing MC off piece here. If one of you try and violate me, get a punch in the face with the back door key. Alright, now let's try and lift up the log. Initially, I just tried to use this log as a bat run ram. Ah, oh, almost, almost. Come on, come on. I've got this. This took us a while. No! Grab the log. It's not a log, it's more of a 
block fashioned into a wooden plank, but come on. Come on, lift it, lift it up. Lift it up. There we go. Come on, got this. No, not not quite there yet. Bait to the right. No, no, no. Oh my days, brothers. Come on, it's not that hard. I thought you had a B tech in engineering. You should There we go. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. These dogs out here trying to kill us, but nah. You could get us before when I was a vulnerable little boy, but now I have glowed the frick Oh, I mean beast now. Beast doesn't even cover it. You think you're beasts? Nah, I'm the beast. I'm the real beast. You can't do nothing. Look, you can't touch me. You can't touch me. Yo, did those scientists guys send you, send you here to try and bring us down? It's not happening. It's not happening, is it? You can bark all you want, mate. You can bark all you want. Man. There we go. Mastered the timing. 40 minutes in. Alright, let's go. Hey yo, office guy, scientist guys back there. You liking what you see? You liking the creation, wreak havoc, and disobey you? Like that. Oh yeah, now that now this guy behind us is terrified. He's like, oh no, the blob's gonna kill us. But look, if I just step back and I just let him do his thing. Yo, boss man, would you be so nice as to open the door for us, please? Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. Because you know you're gonna get shanked up if you don't. Look, he's so he's scared. He's looking back. He's scared. All right, okay, thank you very much. No, I'm not going to hurt you because you've done a very nice thing. You've done a very kind thing today. That's a good deed done. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Here, I made a joke about um, being a big thing, fitting through small holes and how I know a lot about that one, ladies. And then I apologised profusely over and, over and over again for that horrendous joke. Um, I could have just gone without mentioning that in this, in this gameplay. But I thought it needs to be acknowledged. I need to repent for my sins. Okay, we're gonna bring this cube over to here. And at this point I realized I can throw the cube. Way! But not at the door, because that doesn't do anything. Gotta throw it up. Bish bash bosh. And again. Ooh, man, bus man, yeah. And now I'm just in the water. I'm just having a little paddle. Now let's bring this cube uh, for no reason other than I know what happens next. Over to this fire oven. Yo, there's a fire oven. There's an incinerator. Um, yeah, in the original I kind of like jumped through the incinerator. And like I tried to like get into it to see whether I would burn. I didn't. Nothing happened to us. Alright, we've set the cube on fire. Now let's go. Then, in the original, yeah, the sprinklers have turned on. So I'm like, oh, the fire's gonna get put out, what can I do? Now look at this skillage. Look at the skill. Oh my days, you've never seen such skill. The levels, the techers. The techers right here. You don't understand. Oh my god. The skill is unmatched. The skill is actually unreal. You've never seen skill levels like this before. You've never seen techers like this. Yo, I see you. I see you back there, running. Ah, uh, why are you running? Huh? Why are you running? Oh yeah, I made the why are you running joke earlier. I forgot to mention. Explode the thing. Come on, open up. Open up for me. There you go, there you go. And where am I now? Oh yeah, we've got a real cut. Grab the real cut. All the way over, all the way over. If I'm looking down here a lot, it's because I'm checking the recording. Because now, after all the shenanigans of trying to record this bloody Inside Part Three, there's so I've got so many field renders in that folder, by the way, just called Inside Part Three. That failed. After recording all these, I'm so paranoid about my recordings failing that um, I don't want to take any chances. All right, we're swinging. Back to being Tarzan on the ropes. Obviously a bit heavier, a bit heavier, but you know what? It's not a problem, it's not a problem. I've got the exact same skills as I had before. 
I'd just like to know, um, obviously this game is extremely ambiguous, extremely ambiguous, since one of the big things is there's no dialogue, which is one of the beautiful things about this game, that it explores so many topics without needing a single bit of dialogue. But then again, the question arises, am I the boy controlling the blob, or am I just an amalgamation of, you know, all the people who are inside the blob already, and just like, am I just a collective blob controlling myself now? I'm just controlling myself. All right, I got a cube up here, but um, um, all right, because I've become morbidly obese, I can't really like pull the cord. So, yo, sinus up there, could you like pull the cord for us, please, if you don't mind? Yeah, yeah, that thing right there. Yeah, yeah, just pull the cord. Oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it. I've just got to go up here and just. Uh... Oh, I missed it. I missed it. All right. Okay. Um, really sorry for the inconvenience, lads. Um, I didn't quite get it that time. So could you just like help us to escape a second time? That'd be grand. That'd be fantastic. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Mhm. Mm just like that. Thank you. I really appreciate that. What a kind soul. I mean, obviously, it figures that you're scared and you don't want to get like killed. But thank you. Now this is a timed event. Oh my god. Sorry lads, I messed up the timing. Third time's a charm. I'm really, really sorry for the inconvenience, but just um, help us escape one more time. Just one more time. For the bants, for the lols. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Go, 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 go. Oh, and I've done it. Let's go. And now, okay, there's a lot to uncover in this scene. As you can see behind us, well, it looks like, you know, everyone from the facility who wasn't, you know, in any previous scenes is here. Everyone from the facility, there's so many people here. They're all crowded around watching. There's kids as well. There's kids sat at the front, sat down. It's like it's a performance. I'm just a mere spectacle to make fun of and to watch, right? And they're baiting us with this cube. They're baiting us out, right? Oh, I, I'm not, I don't want to fall for the bait, but I have to, to progress the story. I have to. Oh, look at me, reaching for the cube. Look, I'm so... Look at this. Oh no, I'm so helpless. Oh no. Yeah, I'm in the tank. Brother, if you trap us inside the tank, I swear. No. Ah, back to being trapped. It's ridiculous. And I can't see a thing, but like, kind of know what to do. So, yeah. Just grab this. Mash up the scene. Mash up this tank over here. Uh, you think you've trapped us in? You think you've got us? Hell no. Nah. I'm going to be free one way or another. I'm going to be free. Hey, yo, I'm back with the fishes. How you doing, fishes? How you doing? Appreciate the reunion. Appreciate you taking the effort, taking the time out to um, come back to see your boy before he escapes. Because, trust me, I will escape. It's the last thing I do. Oh, where am I meant to go up? Oh, I'm meant to go down. Okay. Ah, my man, the good. Uh. Hey, yo, I can't really see a whole lot of what's going on. There's quite a glare from the screen as well. Um. Oh, okay. So there's a. Uh, what's that called? Is it a moon? A moon something? I don't know, but just like there was a hole I could uh could have gone through. Alright, now we've got an abandoned warehouse. All the scientists, all the geezers, they were like, right, I'm out, I'm adding over this. He's too he's too much, he's too much of a beast. We can't control him. We're just gonna let him be, we're gonna let him we're gonna let him escape. The groans the painful, I can hear how painful it is. Right, we're gonna have a run and charge. Run, 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 run. Charge! Yes! And we are free! Look! Look, we're rolling down the hill. Rolling down the hill, back in the forest where we were at the start. Oh my days, look at this, we're finally free. Rolling all the way down. Rolling all the way down. And that is that. The game is over. Now, if you remember. All is not as it seems. The diorama, the model back there, it was a model of this exact hillside. This clearing, this clearing of light right here, that's not how the sun works. It was a spotlight. 
this is still part of the facility. The scope of this facility is unreal. I mean, I, I might be spoiling it, but, you know, like, the diorama matches perfectly with this, so it's pretty obvious. I mean, not obvious, because I didn't even realise the first two times I commentated over this. But the thematic... The the thematics of this that it shows that it represents that we're not truly free we're never truly free we're always being controlled by something like the scientists maybe planned out like a uh, contingency what happens if we break out they built they maybe like extended the facility to be like oh we think that we're free but we're not this is just part of the facility they've still got control over us they've still got control over the blob yeah i think this company's danish i think it says at the end so that you know Pretty epic names right there. We've got Mikhail Gjol over here, the rendering programmer. All these guys, fantastic job. The 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 mind, the mentality you need to be so creative. You create such an interesting, creative, very weird and disturbing and slightly messed up game. It's just astounding. It's actually astonishing how a team can make a game this good and so interesting and so you know the themes represented by this game. I'm not going to waffle on too much, even though I already have quite a bit. But obviously the main theme themes, we've got mind control, we've got oppression, we've got elitism, uh, elitism, uh, oppressing the free will of the working class, controlling them. Uh, yeah, and th it's very, very ambiguous. The ending is so ambiguous, um, you know, that you can't really get an ease of mind at this ending, because you're like, well, what does it mean exactly? But I think the meaning is that you're never really free. Wow, I sound so deep. I sound like a Billy Eilish fan. You're never really free. And, uh, yeah, that's a very important theme to take away. And now the game's over, I can explore some of the, um... Uh... Some of the theories about the ending. So the blob, right? There's some theories that, because the game is so linear, we're, going, we're always... The character, the boy's always going from point A to B. He's always destined to end up at the blob. So maybe the blob is controlling the boy from the beginning to like beckon the boy over so that the blob can be freed. Maybe the blob is controlling the boy all this time. But then again, we've got the guys in the vans and the trucks trying to stop us from reaching the blob. Maybe they're the good guys trying to stop us from being sucked into the blob and helping it escape because he knows that we can never really be free. Maybe there's some sort of vigilante sort of like rounding up the victims of this mind control thing. But then again, because we don't see those masked guys anywhere in the facility, so maybe they're not associated. But, oh wait, no, we do, we do, we do. We do see the masked guys, actually. Ignore ignore everything I've just said. Um, but uh, yeah, this is absolutely fascinating to think about. Like, maybe the whole forest scene before we entered the facility, maybe that was just part of the facility as well. I don't think it was because we had the farmhouse as well, and uh, we saw everyone getting round up in the trucks and going to the facility. So, um, yeah. We can see how, uh, like, the the chicks, the ducklings, and the people being, mind being um, controlled by, like, following me, they're, like, pretty similar in how they did that. I think I've already touched on that. But, yeah extremely interesting game it gives you so much to think about it gives you so so much to think about but ultimately what i think is the entire message is you can never be free you're always being controlled whether it be an oppressive tyrannical government uh, like this in a post-apocalyptic dystopian you know orwellian orwellian dystopia or whether it's something more subtle that you don't often realize i'm just gonna all right how do i okay i think it's just press any button to continue yeah, play that inside. Thank you very much for joining us on this journey. Um, it was a huge hassle to record this final part, but hopefully it was worth it. It was worth it because I got to talk about all the things I wanted to talk about and more after seeing, you know, other playthroughs, other comments and basically rounding them all up into this video. But yeah, that was Play Dead's Inside. Thank you very much for watching and um, I'll see you all in the next video. I'm really glad that this is done. It's done. I can forget about this game now. I can move on.